Hello guys, welcome to Trader Smart Train. In this video, I'm going to talk about Larry Lane's most profitable day trading strategy, which is called the Momentum Breakout. So, first of all, let's see what is Momentum Breakout. Momentum Breakout is a price breakout after a market pause in trend to exceed its previous range pause in trend. Whenever price creates a range in the market, know that there is a breakout attached to that price that is going to exceed either up or down, depends on the direction of the trend so what is larulence larulence uh, momentum breakout is a daily breakout strategy that has been used to cash previous day continuation move in the market for consistent profit so this is very simple so if you notice on this daily candlestick price was bullish after price was bullish if you notice on the daily candlestick price create a momentum bullish candle and this momentum bullish candle it closes at least 75 percent of its range when it's when the candle is bullish so we have to wait on the next day for price to take out this previous day's eye which is called this daily candlestick to take out this previous day eye and we look for a buying scenario so it's very simple now on the very scenario also when price creates a very black down candle all you have to wait for is when price closes at least at five percent from high to the low when price create closes at least five percent of its range you look for a breakout strategy to sell from this bullish candle is going to be the daily candlestick all we have to do is to go to our one hour chart which is this smaller candle presenting the breakout in the middle of this uh, breakout line we go to the one hour chart and wait for when price close above the eye the previous day's eye and we look for a buy entry at this place and we set our stop loss so you understand what i'm saying let me come again once a momentum candlestick form on the daily chart all you have to do is to mark that daily candlestick and make sure that daily candlestick is at least closes at least at five percent of its range when it bullish you go to your one hour chart mark your time window which is 8 pm to 5 am you wait for when one hour candlestick close above its previous daily eye and look for a buy entry and set your stop loss below the one hour short term before the breakout and look for at least two to one arrow so you understand what i'm saying same thing also happened to the bearish breakout so this big candle here is going to be uh our daily candlestick and this uh, smaller candle is going to represent our one hour candlestick so what are we going to do if you notice this uh candle here this daily candlestick is going to be our previous day low that form based on it's a bearish candlestick since it's a bearish candlestick what are you going to do you are going to set a line breakout when price closes below the previous day low you look for a set scenario and set your stop loss directly to the one hour short term before the price breakout below the previous day low so you understand what i'm saying once this bearish candlestick form on the daily chart and closes below 75 percent of its body what are you going to do you are going to mark that low on the previous day which is the current day you are going to go to your one hour chart and look for when price closes below the previous day low on the one hour chart and set your stop loss directly to the one hour short term low before it breakouts so that is how you are going to trade it so let's dive into our chart and see how profitable this strategy is this is our chart before we start looking for our candlestick how are we going to determine if the candlestick closes at least 75 percent of its range so let's go to our fib retracement which is the fibonacci retracement once you click on the fibonacci retracement on the trading view all you have to do is to set it to 0 0.75 look at my trading view fibonacci you can also set it on the mt4 if you know how to use the mt4 so i'm using the trading view for this purpose so what are we seeing we see 0 0.61 percent we see a new uh, ratio which is a 0 0.75 once you are done with that click on ok and you are good to go now you understand how you can set the fibonacci retracement if the candlestick closes at least 75 percent of its ranges when looking for bullish or bearish setup let's see 
this on our chart so first of all if you notice there's a lot of series of uh, momentum candlestick which is called momentum breakout like I said in the video it's a momentum breakout so let's look at this candlestick each separately so let's see if this candlestick closes 75 percent of the range if we are going to look for a momentum breakout all you have to do is to draw from the eye to the low when looking for a close so let's see no candlestick does not close this at least 75 percent of its range which is an error in this uh instance you don't look to buy at this instance this is an error it's not a momentum candlestick so you understand this is not a momentum trade you skip it and you look for another bullish candlestick and you and you print from the eye to the low the candlestick closes at five percent of a range so what do you do you mark this eye to look for a buying scenario which is tomorrow which is our buy setup we skip it this completes our 75 percent of a range same thing also happened to this what happened we take it from the high to the low candlestick closes 75 percent of a range so good we are good to go we take our, our breakout tomorrow what happened notice this candlestick does not close 75 percent of a range i just know we just know that this candlestick so you skip it you wait for the previous uh day for candlestick to close at least at five percent of the range what happened candlestick closes uh so you mark this i what happened you also look for if the candlestick closes at five percent of the range candlestick closes at five percent of the range which is a uh a bullish setup take cut and you and you mark the eye of it that is it now you understand how this momentum breakout is so let's go to our one hour chart and see how we can be able to trade this uh, strategy on the SAUSD which is the good against the US dollar let's see how we can be able after the previous day closes 75 percent of its previous range what happened the next day we look for a momentum breakout to the upside and we look for when price when the one hour candlestick closes above its previous uh, day and we enter on it and we set our stop loss uh, below the one hour short term low before the breakout of the previous day so we target at least two to one arrow our profit got it this is the example one the example two the same thing what happened the previous day closes self percent of its previous range so on the current day we are trading you look for a breakout momentum at the upside which is called this one which is called candlestick closes above its previous uh eye what are you going to do you enter a buy setup and you set your stop loss uh below the previous uh one hour short term low and you target at least two to one arrow that is it let's see what happened same thing also applies to it same thing also applied to it the previous day closing self percent of, of its previous range what are you going to do you look for a candlestick that closes uh above its previous uh eye and you look for at least two to one arrow which uh our profit got it at this instance are you getting what i'm saying our profit got it in the previous day also look at what happened uh our previous day which is this close up at least 75 percent of its previous range what are you going to do you look for a buying scenario at this instance you set your stop loss at least below the one hour short term low and you look for at least two to one arrow 
so do you see how profitable this uh, trading strategy is so that is it for this example so let's quickly look at uh, the bearish example on the gbp usd which is the pounds against the dollar first of all let's see on this day which is the february uh 2 2024 we notice that candlestick was uh bearish so all we have to do is to look for is the candlestick close its 75 percent of its ranges when bearish yes or no use your fibonacci retracement draw from the low to the eye all i can see here the fibonacci retracement the candlestick closes 75 percent of its ranges which is good for we to enter a breakout a momentum breakout on the next day so this is a momentum breakthrough what do we do next let's go to our one hour chart and see what is going on on the chart this is our one hour chart if you notice the candlestick closes 75 percent of its ranges closes bearish 75 percent of its ranges what are you going to do you are going to mark this low for we to look for a momentum breakout the next day the one hour candlestick closes below the the previous day low what do you do you look for a selling scenario at the candle close and set your stop loss above the one hour short term before it breakout and you look for at least two to one arrow so do you see how profitable this trading strategy is this is called the momentum breakthrough breakout by larry Lynch for a profitable day trading strategy this is a momentum breakout strategy and what we are going to do here is to look for our time window when we are going to trade so that we will know when we are going to enter on this trade first we go to our daily chart we identify our daily candlestick with a strong momentum body close which is it close at least 75 percent of its range when same thing also apply to the bearish scenario to close below 75 percent of its range it close 75 percent of its range when bullish and it close 75 percent of its range when bearish so you understand what i'm saying on the second scenario we mark the air for that bullish candle and mark the low for a bearish candle also if you notice when the candle is bullish maybe we are looking for a bullish a buy scenario we want that candle to we need to mark that candle eye when we notice that the candle is a bullish candle we need to mark that candle eye so that we can be able to enter on the breakout same thing also apply to the bearish scenario when the candle is bearish we mark the candle low for we to enter on the breakout so the theory we go to our one hour and look for a bullish candlestick that close above the daily eye when it bullish and bearish candle below the daily low when it's bearish you set your stop loss on one hour short term close to the breakout high or low you use at least two to one arrow which is called the risk reward ratio in my next video i'm going to talk about la reliance most uh, profitable trading strategy which is called the uh, support and resistance trading strategy of the larry lens so if you really enjoyed this video please i will advise you to please like subscribe and share this content to your friends and family i will see you that time happy trading god bless